self-reflection, what account of ourselves will we have left in this unedited place of history? It must be written in this unedited book of history that we chose the bold path over the popular path. Indeed, as it is said, the lion is not the strongest animal in the savannah, neither is it the biggest, neither is it the shrewdest, but it is the boldest, and that is why it is the king. Indeed, it is for this very same reason that it is said that an army of sheep led by a lion can defeat an army of lions led by a sheep. The future of Kenya inspired by the past and president must be about a brave imagination. That is why today I congratulate the young men and women of the 19th Battalion of the Kenya Rifles to whom I have presented the presidential and regimental colors today. We must celebrate our defense forces because when they go to war in the defense of our borders they know too well that they will either return hoisting our national flag or return wrapped in our national flag. This takes boldness and dedication. So fellow Kenyans, as I now end my address, I want to remind of a promise I made on the 20th of October 2021, where I directed the Ministry of Energy to fast track the implementation of the recommendations of the Presidential Task Force on Power Purchase Agreements. I am pleased to note that the pathway to reduce the cost of electricity by over 30% is on course. In honor of this pledge to the nation and in response to the concerns of the high cost of electricity raised both by individual customers and enterprises, I am pleased to announce to the nation that the reduction of the cost of electricity will be implemented in two tranches of 15 percent each, with the first 15 percent achieved through initial actions focusing on system and commercial losses, and this will be reflected in people's bills in December of this year. A further 15 percent reduction will happen in the first quarter of 2022. In realizing the second tranche of reduction in power bills, I note that the Ministry of Energy and other government departments have initiated engagement with independent power producers aimed at renegotiation of power purchase agreements so as to give our country better value for money for our consumers. I urge the power producers to demonstrate goodwill as we seek to make our energy sector a greater catalyst of our national development. So as we move to the new year 2022, I would wish to leave you with the words of our founding president as he wished our new republic a Merry Christmas 57 years ago. And in it he urged our good men and women to be of service to their fellow countrymen. And indeed his new year message was an icon.